Amanda here. Today I'm reviewing Of Giants and Ice, the first book of the Ever After series by Shelby Bach. And oh my gumdrops, it's awesome! This is a middle grade fantasy, and you know what? I have to be honest with you guys. Middle grade fantasy is my favorite genre. It's fun, it's quirky, it's innocent, it's full of magic, and it still manages to retain that beautiful wonder of childhood. I don't know about you, but that's a feeling I want to hold on to for a long time. The reason I picked this book up was because of the cover. I know, I know, as readers we're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but look at this thing! It's an explosion of beautiful artwork! And I couldn't help myself! There's even a dragon! Retold fairy tales are running wild in books and film today, which I absolutely love, but Bach has managed to develop a new niche to dominate. The Ever Afters is a deliciously unpredictable take on a brilliant concept. I finished this book in two days, which I haven't done in a while. It was a relief to note that the three predominant characters, not just the main protagonist, experience character development in this story. About halfway through, I was getting a little impatient for this development, but the fact that it did grow more slowly and through specific experiences was realistic. I loved that this book used the fantasy adventure aspects to help the characters grow, not only as adventurers, but as kids, dealing with normal issues of growing up and family hardships. Bach has become my hero in the retold fairy tale department because she not only employs the beloved classics like Snow White and Rapunzel, but also incorporated lesser known fairy tales and actual fairy mythology into her world, which I really appreciated. As someone who's actually read the Grimm's fairy tales, I was getting a little annoyed that no one was mentioning the White Snake. The writing is smooth and easy to read, and Ms. Box certainly knows how to capture your imagination. I was hanging on her every word. The story itself has a high adventure feel that might appeal to you older readers, even though it is a middle grade novel, and her hidden fairy civilization has a nice sophistication to it, and a darker tone appropriate for the original stories. Of Giants and Ice gets five stars, and anyone who loves fairy tales or fantasy adventure needs to read this book. So spread the word and spread it fast, because the sequel comes out July 23rd, and you want to be ready.